Hi guys, I'm Jesse at StroPro.com. Today I've got another exciting product, though it might not seem that exciting. We use them a lot and this is the seven inch grid set. In this set, you're gonna get a 10, 20, 30, and 40 degree grid set that fits in our standard seven inch umbrella reflector. This is the same kind of reflector that you're gonna usually get if you buy like a kit package or a strobe. It's the one you need if you wanna use umbrellas with your strobe. So what's the difference between a 10, 20, and 30, 40? Well, essentially the bigger the number, so like the 40 here, has a bigger diameter in the honeycomb. So if we come in with the other camera, you're gonna see as I fan them out, um, over here by my index finger is the 40 going to the 30, the 20, and then the 10. And you can see all those honeycombs. And what essentially happens is the smaller the pattern on the grid, the smaller the light source or the beam is gonna be from your light. So simple as that. And these things connect in really, really easy. All we're gonna do, we have a spring-loaded little tab here, which is metal. The outside ring is metal again as well. So this guy right here, we pull this bit back and kind of hold it just like this. And you can put it in one side, see how the reflector has a little lip kind of right here. Set that in, bring it in, and then we're gonna push down the tab and just pop it straight in like that. And that holds it in place. To pull it out, we've got the little tab right here. We just pull straight out and you can easily switch between these, no time at all. Just pop in the 20 there and it's super simple. Now, one of the great things about these is that they will fit other brands. So if you have an Alien B or a Profoto 7 inch, these will normally fit those. Just double check your measurement. Um, and what's great about these ones is they are an absolute fraction of the cost of buying other brands. So this is a tool I kind of recommend everyone have. It's so inexpensive and you can do such dramatic lighting effects with it. It's really no reason not to have this in your toolkit. So we're gonna turn off the lights and shine this on the background here to kind of show you the effects that each grid will give you. One thing I should mention though, you don't wanna be running your modeling lamp for long periods of time on this. It blocks the airflow from the fan a lot. So you can have overheating issues if you're running them for a long period. So turn on your modeling lamp, find where you wanna aim this thing, and then let the uh, strobe fire because you don't need your modeling lamp on anyway after that point. Okay, so here's the seven inch reflector. We're gonna attach that to the front of our LED here. Um, actually, before I even do that, let me just show you the effect. So right now we've got light spilling on that backdrop absolutely everywhere. So adding the seven inch reflector definitely makes a difference here. So you can see already that's tightened it up a little bit. But now if I go, I'm gonna start with the 40 degree here, pop that in and I just want you to see how dramatic just the 40 is gonna be. So pop that guy in. Already we've got a nice kind of center spot that's kind of fanning out a little bit. Um, so you can see that guy there, pop out the 40. That 40 I use a lot actually for um, just a background spot. So if I got it in a subject in front, provide some nice dramatic lighting on a dark backdrop. Um, this is the 30 here. So again, that beam's getting a little bit tighter there. Now the 20. So now we're getting kind of really tight on that beam. So 20, I will often use as a hair light. So on a model um, shooting from the back, you can just put a little bit of a rim light on the hair, which provides separation from the background or if you just want a little bit of a highlight. On product photography, if you've got um, bigger items that you want to just highlight a certain part of that, it's great for that as well. And then the 10 degree is the tightest beam here. And that one really narrows this light down. So again, it creates the most pinpoint. 
So if you need it tighter than that, what you're going to use is the Strobe Pro Snoot. Um, that's going to, the 10 degree is going to get you kind of close to it. It's got a little bit more um, fan out from the center point than a Snoot would have. The Snoot is very pinpoint, but this can be a great um, hair light as well, just depending how much spread, whether it's just on the hair or if you want kind of shoulders and back uh, lighted as well. It's a very effective tool. So the Strobe Pro grid set is going to come with your 10, 20, 30, and 40 degree. We don't know why something so simple has to be so expensive from all the other manufacturers. There's no reason to pay hundreds of dollars for this set. At Strobe Pro, it is extremely affordable. And again, full metal construction on these guys. They fit a variety of different brands as well. Just make sure you've got a seven inch check your measurements or we can check it for you if you contact us. Um, but it's a highly, highly effective tool. Everyone should have one in their kit um, because it is that useful. So check it out at strobepro.com. And until next time, I'm Jesse. Mm -hmm.